Hello and welcome to part 6 of 6 of Mechanical Systems for the Grade 8 Alberta Science Curriculum. The last thing we're going to talk about are some ways that you can evaluate mechanical devices. Mechanical devices have evolved over time because of science and the development of new technologies. The design and function of a mechanical device is related to its efficiency and its effectiveness. What effect it has on the environment and how advancements in science through knowledge, trial and error, can also help stimulate change. Mechanical devices are constantly being evaluated to find ways that they can be improved. Using criteria to evaluate a device. When a device has broken down or becomes ineffective in performing its function, making decisions as to what new device will replace the broken device have made it have to be made with specific criteria in mind. The list of criteria you decide on will determine how well a replacement will meet your needs. Criteria might include things like use, purpose, cost, aesthetics or how nice it looks, workmanship and reputation. Mechanical devices are designed to work efficient or efficiently, which can be calculated by dividing its mechanical advantage and its speed ratio. This is a quantitative or numbers-based measure of efficiency because it gives you a number or quantity of how efficient the device is. Efficiency can also be described in qualitative terms. In other words, words can be Words can describe how quickly or easily the device performs the task it was designed for. Is it efficient if it does well if it does the task well enough to meet your needs? Efficiency and effectiveness can be compared when analyzing the designs of different devices that do the same task, such as the bicycle. Usually you are looking for the best combination of efficiency and effectiveness at a cost you can afford. So the choice between the two bicycles, um, one is a road bike, the other is a mountain bike. It all depends on the task. Function and design. Scientists, engineers, and inventors want to develop mechanical devices that work the best for the work they are designed to do. The function is the purpose and the design is the form. The design should suit the function. Evaluation for development. Another reason for evaluating a device is to determine how it can be improved. The environment can have an impact on the design of a device as well. The development of a mountain terrain bicycle came as a result of how the bicycle would best function in the rough terrain it would be used in. Considering the environment. The effect of a device on the environment should also be considered in evaluating it. The negative impact on the environment should not outweigh the usefulness or effectiveness of the device. Evolution of a mechanical device, the pop can opener. To pour liquid out of any container, you need two holes, or one large hole. With two holes, the first hole allows the air into the can, the second hole allows the liquid to flow out. The pop can opener has changed over the years and these changes can help to explain how evaluation can lead to improvement. The improvements can be made or the improvements can make the device more convenient and can affect the people using it as well as the environment. The history of this device shows how trial and error can play a role in improving technology. The pop can opener went through four distinct designs, the church key, the removable tab, the buttons, the non-removable tab, which is where we're at now. Each new design was the result of improving upon the previous design, which had a problem. Criteria for evaluation. The changes to the pop can didn't happen by accident. Careful evaluation and improvement to designs to perform the function helped make the can opening changes more effective and efficient. Questions about safety, convenience, environmental effect, and recycling potential were all factors that contributed to improvements being made. What are you looking for in the device is one of the first questions you should answer when evaluating a device. So in 
19 or 1810 an iron can kept things sealed um, and they had to open it with a hammer and a chisel so not very convenient later a steel can was used it was open with this can opener a simple lever called a church key you needed to have the can opener handy to open the can then people used an aluminum can and the can opened by wrapping the metal around a key so you can see a key here called the side seamer it was lightweight but had sharp edges then came a removable pull tab. The ringed tab made it easy to open. Sometimes though the ring detached from the tab and the can couldn't be opened. It also caused a litter problem and a safety hazard because of the sharp edges of the tab. Then came push button tabs in the mid 1970s. The litter problem was solved, but it was hard to open and the customers didn't like using cans with two buttons. Then in the 80s, they developed this non-removable pull tab. It's called the Ecology Top because the tab stayed o attached to the can. It's the one we currently have, and by wiggling it back and forth, it could be broken off. The ring would not puncture the tab, but would break off, but it's the best solution we have so far. Technology develops through change. New materials and technology, human and environmental needs all contribute to the development of changes to current devices. When failure occurs, modifications must also be made to ensure that the device performs its intended function effectively and efficiently. Trial and error also play a role in technology development. Early devices were usually operated by hand. Improvements to the devices by making it perform its task more easily came as people tried to make the device perform more efficiently with less effort. The invention of electricity also contributed to imp advantages in science result in technology, new technology. Charles Coulomb first identified electrical charges in the 1700s, but it took almost a hundred years to make electricity widely available to major Canadian cities, and it took until the 1940s to make it available to most communities in Canada. As scientists and engineers learned more about this new energy source, they found ways to use it in new technologies, such as the light bulb and the electron microscope. So we have the light bulb and the electron microscope. Does technology change society or does society change technology? The automobiles uses cheap fuel and therefore more vehicles are being used. With cities so large, people need a vehicle to travel from place to place. Or is the convenience of having a vehicle just society's reason to have larger cities? Because of the impact of scientific knowledge on society, society preferences for styles and sizes of vehicles changed. Larger vehicles polluted more and cost more to operate, so society wanted more compact, fuel-efficient vehicles. Today, alternative fuel sources such as solar power, electricity, hybrids, propane, and hydrogen fuel cells are being tested and are utilized to some extent. When a new technology is being designed or an old technology improved upon, the starting point must be the function. What is it that you want te the technology to do? Scientists often have to ask themselves difficult questions, weighing the positive and negative effects of the technology. The ethical issues must be reviewed and considered in the decision to go ahead. Nuclear power is just one example. Clean and efficient power generation versus nuclear accidents can devastate the environment. Consumers must also make smart choices when purchasing goods or services, certain considerations must be taken into account, including how much energy is needed to make the goods or services available. From particles to trains, new technology can also develop from unrelated research. Maglev magnetic levitation trains in Japan operate on superconductive magnets powered by electricity. They can travel at speeds of over 350 kilometers an hour floating on the rails. The technology for the maglev resulted from physics experiments using particle accelerators, huge machines 
used to break apart atoms and other particles of matter, which use large amounts of electricity to create powerful magnetic and electric fields. New technology can also result from changes to human society. Robots were originally popularized in the movies and comic books. The word robot comes from the Czech word robotnik, meaning workers or slaves. They were thought to be human-like machines that could do the work of humans. It was originally used in a play where millions were manufactured to work as slaves in factories. Most robots today don't really appear to be human-like, but they do the work of many humans, mostly in industry. The first practical robots were developed in the 1960s. Robots today weld car bodies together, diffuse bombs, perform surgery, help the handicapped, and even explore other planets. Changes in the environment result in new technologies being developed. Since the early 1960s, the environment has impacted technological development because people wanted to repair the negative impacts they made on the environment. New technologies like recycling were needed to prevent more damage. Processing materials over and over or making them biodegradable would address some of the issues. Other technologies, like oil skimmers, help make the environmental cleanup more effective and prevent further damage, so for oil spills. The science of comfort. The science of, de of designing machines to suit people is called ergonomics. This science has improved the design and comfort of machines we use. The testing systems that designers use provide scientific information to researchers, allowing them to decide what type of modification is best for its designed purpose. Comfort is an important criterion that is evaluated. The wheelchair has gone through many improvements over the, the years. These changes happen because of the research into ergonomic designs and pressure put on the designers by the customer. Body weight, height, size, age, and gender are factors taken into account when designing a product for use by consumers. Ergonomics is especially important in the design of work environments where occupational safety is an issue. Carpal tunnel syndrome causes numbness and pain in the thumb and first three fingers caused by the continuous repetitive movements of the fingers on the computer keyboard. Ergonomically de designed products include a spacesuit, infant car seat, and computer keyboards.